Hey there, LEGO fans, and welcome to another ex episode of What's Exciting on the LEGO Ideas website. Tonight, I'm not really promoting any set, although there's so many sets on there that I need to be doing videos on. I am so excited about so many sets, but tonight I just want to focus on doing some updates. Um, and LEGO has been very busy. Man, LEGO has been very busy, but more importantly, LEGO fans have been extremely busy. Fan creators and fan idea builders and fans who are mocking stuff are have been extremely busy. The interwebs have been exploding with so many brilliant ideas. Um, and a few weeks ago, LEGO announced 26, 2, 6, 26 sets had crossed the 10,000 vote threshold and made it to the fall 2020 review. This is really exciting. This is the highest number of sets that have actually crossed that threshold. That says two things. One, People are engaged with Lego. People are creating with Lego. And that's always amazing to see. And two, a lot of Lego fans have heard about the Lego Ideas website and are actually putting in votes. So there is a huge diversity of ideas that are being promoted. And it is, it is really exciting to see. I am really excited. What is really exciting is that of the 26 sets, there are so many, there are several sets in there that I supported, even though I didn't do any, you know, I didn't do videos on it. Um, and then there are some sets that I didn't support. I wasn't even aware they were in the running for any of this and boom, here they are. And I'm really excited to see them. And there are other sets on there that naturally, we you know, one or two sets and I'm just like, um, okay, what's this doing here? But that's neither here nor there. The large number of sets that have made it to 10,000 is really exciting. The diversity is even more exciting. There's so many ideas that are coming out and um, I'm really excited to see that. Um, and exciting news number two. Blue Origin, which I not only supported, but also did a video on. And if you want to see that video, there's a video card. Um, did a video on Blue Origin Rocket, made it to the 10,000 uh, vote mark, and it's going to be reviewed. And I am hoping, praying, wishing, and willing the angels and administers of Lego not to let this one fly by. Put this on the shelves. Please put this on the shelves. I'm really excited. And um, a huge congratulations to Valerie Roche and Matthew Nolan for such a great idea that has crossed the threshold. I'm really excited. And if you are on the Lego Ideas website, they have another idea um, on there, another rocket that um, they are promoting, and I will do a video on that very shortly. It's really exciting, and you know, much like all their other good ideas, like you know, the big one I have up there, the Saturn V, um, this one is making it through the votes at a pretty fast clip. So just go and vote for it so that when it hits the market you can say yeah i voted for that one and you know you get you you get the joy of not just getting it when it's on the shelves but also saying that i voted for this this was one of my votes it's really exciting to see that so that is you know go check out the blue origin um and be excited about it and vote for Matthew Nolan and um, Valerie Roche's other ideas. There's so many on the site. Um, go check it out. This is really exciting. And um, Val, Matt, can we get an interview? It'd be really cool. Um, another really exciting news is um, Gab Cremos, The Dock, which is a companion um, idea to the 
um, old fishing store made it to the Lego Idea staff pick um, a couple of weeks ago. And he was really excited, shared it all over the um, social media. I joined in and shared it all over social media. Um, Gab, congratulations. It's a brilliant set and we are right behind you. We are supporting you in this and we're really, really looking forward to this, making it to the 10,000 vote mark. Right now, at the time when I did the video on Gab set, it was just a little over 1,800 um, votes. It's now up to nearly 2,600 votes and it's still climbing. So please get your vote in there. Let's get this to 10,000. And as I promised back then, if this hits 5,000, I'm gonna try to get Gab here for a great interview and you know he can share his story and how he came up with the idea and all the good stuff. Um, give us all a chance to get to know him a little better. Seriously, get on there. I'll add all the links of everything that I'm talking about in the um, in the description section and you can just look it up, click on it, go vote. And as I've always said, and it is true, membership on the Lego Idea site is free. Go sign up and, you know, hit a vote and vote for, you know, any set that you like there, but please go vote for Gab. And um, let me know if there's something you see that's really exciting there, do let me know. And, you know, just reach out to me and we'll take a look at it and do a video on it and help promote it because there are some amazing ideas there. Um, and then we also have another staff pick, the Antique Globe by JJ Ideas, which we promoted in another video. And if you want to see it, another card um jj ideas made it to the staff pick um was it two weeks ago and so jj ideas congratulations this is a huge push for you right now the um the votes are at almost 2000 with 128 days to go now here is how this works if you hit your first hundred lego gives you a certain amount of time if you hit another if you hit your thousand votes, Lego gives you some more time. And then if you hit 5,000, they give you a little more time to clear the 10,000 mark. 128 days from now, um, the Antique Globe has to hit 5,000 so that they can get the extra time to make the 10,000. So please, this is extremely important. If you're watching this, please make sure that you have voted for the Antique Globe Let's get him to 5,000 so he can, you know, continue on to 10,000 and hopefully, and as I, look, if I promote the set and it hits the shelves, I will give one away, which is a perfect segue to the most exciting news I have for tonight. Um, if you've been with my channel since the beginning, you know that once I hit 100 subscribers, I did a giveaway. I gave away the Berlin um, uh, Skyline, and that was really exciting. Here's the interesting thing. Um, Ulrich, who won the Berlin Skyline, actually lives in Denmark. Yeah, so Lego came from Denmark. I bought it. I shipped it back to Denmark. But he was really gracious. He sent me a message to say thank you. And Ulrich, you are very welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Um, so I did promise once we hit 200, I'll do another giveaway. So I'm not doing just one prize this time. I'm actually doing three. I'm doing three prizes. They're not anything big, but they are from the bottom of my heart, a huge thank you to all the subscribers and um, I got kind of chewed out and hassled by uh, some friends and family because in the last giveaway, I took all my friends and family out just because I wanted to do, you know, I wanted to make it fair. And they all yelled at me, so I'm putting all the friends and family back in. <laughs> so this is, that's part of the reason why I am doing three, you know, little sets that I'm giving away rather than 
just a single large one, but I am really excited about the next giveaway and I'm going to do it a week from tonight. So I'll post this video tonight and then we'll start the countdown clock and um, next Thursday uh, we'll do Thursday, the 11th of June, 2020, sometime in the evening, Eastern US time. I'll do the, I'll do, I'll do the drawing or I'll do the drawing and I'll post the video at that point. So do bear with me. Um, I'm actually thinking about giving one of these sets out. Maybe not this one. Once we hit 500, I'll give one of these out. So if you're interested, do, and you know, I'll put everybody together for each of the drawings. So if you want one of these, join in. Um, just a quick reminder, a lot of people who have subscribed have their settings, you know, set to private. If I don't see you, I can't add you to the drawing. So if your setting is on private, that's perfectly fine. Do comment on one of the videos because I'll go through and I'll pull all the videos, all the uh, video comments as well, and they'll be added to the, um, to the comment but once i post the winners if you're outside of the country i'm so sorry you're probably going to have to pay for the shipping because it gets rather expensive shipping overseas if you are within the u.s don't worry about it i'll throw it in the mail usps i love you guys thank you so much you're bringing me so much lego i love you guys keep doing the great stuff that you do and i'll keep buying stamps we'll keep supporting you um if you're overseas, I'm still gonna send it by USPS, but I'll let you know if you wanna pay for the shipping, that's fine. If not, you can take your draw, your winning and I'll donate it to someone, all right? So that's it. A lot of exciting news, a lot of stuff going on with Lego. Um, the White House is coming up. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna be doing a build of the bookstore. I've been promising this for a while, um, but there's so much going on. I've been so busy. Uh, let's see, there is, the New York buildings that I'm still working on. Uh, and as you can see, I have pieces here. I'm actually going to do another video um, of one of the New York buildings. And let's see, there is the Parisian restaurant, which is coming out, which I'm really excited about. It's another modular set and I get to build that. And that's really exciting. So stick around, stay tuned, like, subscribe, share with friends and get ready for the giveaway. All right. And as always, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the support. And always, 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 especially in this crazy climate, play well.